After weeks of speculation, we now know it's in the Senate's health care proposal. In May, the House passed the health care bill to replace the Affordable Care Act. That bill then moved on to the Senate, where a group of senators worked in secret to recraft it. Today, those changes came out. News Channel 9's Allison Levine tells us how they could affect people in Hamilton County. Allison. Josh Latricia, Tennessee has a unique perspective in the debate over health care. It's one of only 19 states that did not expand Medicaid under the Affordable Care Act. Now, 10 care patients are wondering how new proposed cuts to the national program could affect their care. Hours after the Republican Party releases its revised version of the American Health Care Act. No! In these protests outside of Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's office, not isolated to the halls of the Senate. It's hurting Tennesseans. Jean Marie Lawrence lives right here in Chattanooga. At just seven years old, Lawrence was diagnosed with a form of muscular dystrophy, making everyday tasks more difficult. I need help every day getting up, getting dressed, um, showering, uh, preparing my meals. Thanks to TenCare, Lawrence can do all of that from home. I'm on the Choices Consumer Direction Program, which means I hire my own personal care attendants and train them. Um, as I see fit. She worries that proposed cuts to Medicaid could alter her way of life. The latest version of the American Health Care Act lays out a new approach to Medicaid, making cuts to states that expanded coverage. Of course, the Medicaid expansion in Tennessee won't go away at all because it never happened in the first place. Oscar Brock is on the Republican National Committee for Tennessee. They're going to use a different inflation adjustment, so it looks as though it's a big cut. In a statement released this morning, Tennessee Senator Lamar Alexander explained that the funding will now be linked to the rate of inflation. I just wish that he would meet and hear more from those of us directly affected. Lawrence says any cut to Medicaid would drastically change her way of life. So I, I would absolutely end up without a doubt um, in an assisted living facility or a nursing home. That would be uh, life altering, um, honestly. So the GOP was hoping to vote for this bill prior to the 4th of July recess. Per Senate rules, a vote cannot take place until after the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office scores the latest version of the bill. Josh. Allison, thank you. At this point, no Democrats are expected to vote for the bill. That means Senate Republicans can only afford to lose just two votes and still pass the American Health Care Act. So far, four Senate Republicans have opposed the bill publicly in its current 